Welcome to our The Consumer Brief show, where we dive into the intriguing corners of consumer news, health tips, and the occasional surprise from the legislative halls. Today, we've got a lineup that's as varied as a buffet at a high-end brunch. First up, imagine living to blow out 100 candles on your birthday cake. Dr. Trent Orfano spills the beans on which foods might be plotting against your centennial celebrations. Spoiler alert, your favorite guilty pleasures might be on the hit list. Then, we're taking a sharp turn from the dinner table to the classroom, where the future of healthcare looks a bit brighter thanks to a hefty investment in nursing education. With a nursing shortage on the horizon, this move could be the stitch in time that saves nine, or in this case, thousands of lives. And for our final act, we're heading to the mountains of North Carolina, where the eastern band of Cherokee Indians is lighting up the conversation around cannabis. Their recent venture could soon welcome all adults, making a significant shift in the local cannabis landscape. So, buckle up for a ride through longevity secrets, educational strides, and cannabis ventures. Please stay tuned for the detailed scoop. After dedicating three decades to the study of longevity, Dr. Trent Orfanos, the head of integrative and functional cardiology at Case Integrative Health, has distilled his wisdom into a simple guideline for those aiming to hit the century mark in life. He advises steering clear of certain foods that might be tempting but are not conducive to a long and healthy existence. The list of culprits includes white pasta, soda, ice cream, pie, and hot dogs. These items, according to Dr. Orfanos, should be avoided or at least consumed sparingly due to their potential to trigger inflammation in the body, which is a known adversary of longevity. Instead, he champions a diet rich in nuts and seeds, extra virgin olive oil, cruciferous vegetables, berries, and fatty fish. Embracing these nutritional powerhouses can significantly enhance your odds of living a vibrant and robust life well into your 100s. So, if you're dreaming of blowing out a century of birthday candles, it might be time to rethink your diet and make room for these longevity-boosting foods. U.S. Congressman Tom Cole has successfully obtained $4.5 million in funding to enhance the nursing program at Pontotoc Technology Center, PTC. Superintendent Travis Graham expressed excitement, noting that this expansion will not only bolster the center's healthcare capabilities but also forge new career paths for a varied workforce, positively impacting local communities. With the U.S. Chamber of Commerce forecasting an average annual opening of 193,100 nursing positions until 2032, against a projection of only 177,400 new nurses joining the field by the same year, this investment is a timely boost to address the growing demand for healthcare professionals. The Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, located in western North Carolina, is on the verge of making a groundbreaking move in the cannabis industry. According to a tribal council member during a recent council work session, they are considering expanding sales at their newly opened medical cannabis superstore to include all adults, not just those with medical prescriptions. This superstore, managed by Kuala Enterprises, the Cherokee's cannabis subsidiary, launched with an impressive inventory of over 34,000 fully tested, certified products. According to Forrest Parker, the general manager of Kuala Enterprises, the store's diverse range includes various cannabis forms such as flower, vape items, edibles, and topicals. This potential policy shift could mark a significant milestone in the accessibility of cannabis products, reflecting the tribe's progressive stance on cannabis use and sales. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.